Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to talk about the one place not to device after using more than six months of usage. Yes, when it's been uh, more than uh, 180 days of using the OnePlus Nord 2 and 6 months of time as well. And recently I'm getting plenty of comments. Is it worth to buy the OnePlus Nord 2 or not? So that of giving you a long term review after using for so many months with the OnePlus Nord 2 device. And by the time I'm making this video, there's an offer going on on the OnePlus Nord 2 in the Amazon website. So you can actually get the 3000 rupees instant discount using this kind of uh, specified cards access bank cards or kotak bank cards as you can see here 3% 3000 uh, instant discount is available right now so let's see friends what will be the long time review of using oneplus not 2 and is it kind of worth to buy in this 2022 even after a lot of competition or not that's what i'll try to uh, tell you in this end of the video so first let's talk about the performance wise so regarding the performance wise the oneplus not 2 has got the dimensity 1200a chipset in this device and i did use other dimensity 1200 mobile phones as well so even the performance there's nothing much major complaints in this uh, oneplus not device and if you try to look at the cpu totting graph these are the graph is it's kind of slightly better than the poco f3 gt and little bit kind of better than the real mix 7 max but sometimes not all the times so these are kind of very close very close to other mobile phones as well but regarding the benchmarks let me show you friends so right now, after this many months of using the device, the benchmark, sometimes it will be 6 lakhs 80,000, sometimes it will be 5, 5 lakhs 97,000. If you use the high performance mode, the benchmarks can get really very high. If you don't use any kind of uh, high performance mode, the benchmarks will remain pretty low as well. That's something you should know about this uh, high performance mode in this device. But overall friends, with the normal usage, you should not feel any kind of lag or any delay. I did install close to 150 plus applications in this device. So there's nothing much lag or delay. The battery runs mobile game at this moment, there is no Ultra HD. Yes, friends, you cannot play that. But in the Poco F3 GT, you can actually get uh, up to HDR and extreme settings. And Ultra HD is also working in the Poco F3 GT. Even in the Realme X and Max, 90 FPS got updated. But in the OnePlus Nord 2, still the settings did not get improved in this device. That's something you should know about this uh, OnePlus Nord 2 device. And even in the real-time FPS meter, which we can actually get in this phone while gaming that's a pretty good advantage friends with the real-time fps meter that's the one thing which i did like in the oneplus not 2 so is the quick settings so even the performance wise it's kind of uh, okay but when it comes to the snapdragon 870 maybe i would definitely uh, ask you to prefer the snapdragon 870 processor so next thing is about the display how is the display quality in the oneplus not 2 there's nothing much major complaints and there's nothing much specialty is going on in terms of the displays i mean there is no green tint issue there is no black color issue but there will be this kind of flickering issue sometimes but apart from that there is nothing much major problems and anyway though i am netflix hdr is not supported hd is supported but not hdr yes till now again the hdr is not yet fixed in the oneplus not 2 so you will get only hd content not the hdr content in this oneplus not 2 device regarding the display apart from the display i did not have any kind of major problems with the display so overall it was pretty bright even in the outdoor visibility and colors are also pretty good nothing much major problems with the display in the oneplus not not many complaints so this is all about the display frames regarding the oneplus not to having the 90 years refresh rate slightly kind of little bit kind of let down and low touch sampling rate as well these are the two two things which you can definitely remember that sampling rate is only 120 years touch sampling rate and refresh rate is only 90 years so it may be or may not be bothering for you and next thing is about the camera yes Camera is one of the biggest, strongest point of this device in the 2022. In case if you want to buy the, for the camera, very good mobile phone, then this is your mobile phone which you got. Because there are very few phones which can actually get really very good uh, camera clarity friends in terms of the outdoor uh, clarity and everything. These are the friend cam shots which I'll try to show you in a bit. And you can definitely see it's kind of pretty much improved regarding the camera. Even in the low light, it's pretty good. Even in the low light as well, it was really good. So front camera sometimes it looks kind of washed out, I mean white color sometimes but later with the software update it got definitely improved and outdoor it kind of re really very good in the outdoor shots. As you can see in the outdoor which the shots are taken, St stabilization and the color reproduction everything is pretty good. Nothing much major problems with the OnePlus Nord device. You can see in, the, in terms of the zooming and everything. It's pretty good, nothing much major complaints in the camera point in the OnePlus Nord 2. It's really very good even the macro lens as well you can see the macro I mean close-up shots you can definitely see here 
how they are so uh, this is a quick thing about the camera fence camera i'm really satisfied in, even in the low light also the phone was able to perform really the best when compared with other smartphones even right now as well that's something you should know next thing is about the battery and the charging battery backup i cannot guarantee you that battery backup will be consistent because every software update that will result in the different kind of battery backup with every software update yes so you should definitely remember but the charging speed is pretty fast it's almost 30 minutes like sometimes 28 minutes 29 minutes as well so charging speed is not an issue but battery backup will definitely vary from one software update to the another software update so you should know about that but average you can get six hours of screen on time in the one place not a device that's an average in this device next thing is about the build quality build quality wise not an issue friends in the one place not two and i did like this kind of volume and uh, view slider which is pretty good and haptic feedback is also really very strong nothing much major complaints in the haptic feedback dual stereo speakers is really very very good in this device so it's pretty good so nothing much major problem even the in display fingerprint scanner are also very fast very fast and accurate nothing much uh, major as you can see friends it's very fast no issues with the in display fingerprint scanner so even after using all these six months of usage still you can see the back panel looks pretty good nothing much uh, damage or any, any kind of thing happened for the back panel which works pretty good even all the surroundings also which is pretty good so regarding the connectivity wise the phone has got pretty good i mean dual sim cards 5g uh, more 5g bands and wi-fi 6 is also supported in this device 4g plus not a problem so connectivity is another uh, biggest strong point for the oneplus not 2 yes very very strong point so connectivity not an issue and software updates also it's pretty good and uh, very consistent updates like all the oneplus not 2 users they will get the update on same day that's pretty good and very fast updates friends no issues with the software updates in the oneplus mobile phones and these are the one of the best phones with the very fast software updates when compared with other realme and the iQOO and the poco and mi phones so that's something you should know in my experience these are another phone which i did use for long time usage so all fans after using for six months of usage is my complete review of oneplus nord 2 and is it worth to buy right now yes for the camera it's pretty good that's the one thing and if you want the oneplus kind of brand and if you want to have very good fast software updates and if you want really good connectivity better go for the oneplus nord 2 at this moment of time in case and if your budget is kind of really short and right now with the 3000 discount you can actually get for 27000 rupees the oneplus nord 2 device that's it friends thank you for watching i hope i did cover all the points related to the oneplus nord 2 after using for six months of usage and it's my complete review and meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching i'll be in state of more updates and bye